this is my prayer to thee, my Lord. Strike, strike at the root of the new year, my heart. This is my prayer to thee, my Lord. Strike, strike at the Good morning, friends. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each one of you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, this Eucharist, we pray for the grace of generosity that we give freely as Jesus himself gave us. And therefore, as we begin this Eucharist, we examine ourselves, especially this aspect of generosity. So take a look into your life. When you give, take a general look your whole life. When you normally give somebody something, what is your attitude? I give you five different kind of attitudes, whichever you're closest to. The first is angry. Why is this person asking me? The second is you're negative. Third, you feel nothing at all. Fourth, you feel peace or pleased. And fifth, Joy, joy, which one do you go with? God Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of Jesus who shows us what it is to give joyfully. For our failure to be Jesus sometimes in our life, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray, bringing our personal intentions to this Eucharist. O God, who bring light to your church, to the learning of the priest Saint Bede, mercifully grant that your servants may always be enlightened by his wisdom and helped by his spirit merits. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The first reading, how to give. A reading from the book of Sirach. He who keeps the law makes many offerings. He who heeds the commandments sacrifices a peace offering. He who returns the kindness offers fine flour. And he who gives alms sacrifices a thank offering. To keep from wickedness is pleasing to God. And to forsake unrighteousness is atonement. Do not appear before the Lord empty-handed, for all these things are to be done because of the commandment. The offering of a righteous man anoints the altar, and its pleasing order rises before the Most High. The sacrifice of a righteous man is acceptable, and the memory of it will not be forgotten. Glorify the Lord generously and do not stint the first fruits of your hands. With every gift show a cheerful face and dedicate your teeth with gladness. 
give to the Most High as He has given and as generously as you are able. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Your response to the psalm, to one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. Altogether, to, to one, one whose way is blameless, blameless I will show the salvation, the salvation of God. Gather my holy ones to me, who made covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his justice, for he, God, is the judge. Your response? To, to one, one whose way is blameless, blameless I will show the salvation of God. of God. Listen, my people, I will speak, Israel, I will testify against you, for I am God, your God. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. Your response? To one, one whose way is blameless, I will, will show the, the salvation Lord. of God. Give your praise as a sacrifice to God and fulfill your vows to the Most High. A sacrifice of praise, give me honor. And to the one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. Your response? To one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have revealed to the little children the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia. Dear Jesus, open our hearts that as we listen to your word, we may become a little more like you. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Peter began to say, See, we have left everything to follow you. Jesus said, Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel who will not receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecution and in the age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last First. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, in this first reading that we have from Sirach, one of my favorite books of the Old Testament, it tells us on, about how we should give. The reading, the chapter before this tells us how we should not give and then now how we should give. So first of all, how we should not give. You know, I remember a lady when I was young, she's prepared this lovely uh, garland for the altar. But where was she getting the flowers from the garland? She would pinch them from a neighbor's garden. Making a garland for the Lord, but pinching it from the neighbor's garden. That is not the way we give. Sometimes in our life, we too are giving the Lord but then we are over bargaining with the bajiwala in the marketplace. Over bargaining. We are robbing from the poor and then giving to the Lord. So that is not the way we should give. That's the chapter before this. Then how should we give? We are given here three guidelines. The first it says is, we give the first fruit. What is the first fruit? Suppose someone gives you two gifts. Okay, one is a good gift and one is a very good gift and this person tells you, you decide and you have to give one to someone else, this person says, okay, and keep one for you, give one to my other friend and keep one for you. Now, if you give the very good gift to the other person and keep the good gift for you, then you are giving the first fruit. What is the first fruit? The best. So, first guideline is giving the best, the first fruit, the best of what you have. 
The second guideline is generously. When you give the first fruit, it also means that there may not be a second fruit. That person who has given you this gift and says, here's a gift for you, only one gift. And you say, but this poor guy has nothing, let me give it to him. So there is no second fruit and yet you're giving the first fruit the best that you have and all that you have. That is the second guideline, generously, as the Lord gives us generously. And the third is, flowing from the second, is cheerfully. When you give generously, now you give this gift to this person, take. You need it more than me. And you don't make a big show of it, okay? You need it more than me, take it. You'll experience this, the word that says cheerfully. You're not giving, no. I'm giving you, you know. I'm so generous. See how I'm giving you? No, I'm giving it to you joyfully, cheerfully. Then what happens? You get sevenfold of joy, the joy of the Lord. My dear friends, so let us pray for this grace, this gift of generosity. Giving first fruit, the very best, generously. Even if I don't have, I give the other and cheerfully because then I experience the joy of the Lord. Let us now make our morning offering. For a few moments in silence, place upon the pattern something that you want to offer God today. Something that's going to happen, something big or small. Maybe even your sickness or your difficulties and challenges. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. forever. And divinity of Christ. Share. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Sacrifice be offered you. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. God, Heavenly Father, what gift can I give to you, my King, who has given me everything? I know, Lord, what I'll give you. I'll give you my very heart, myself completely, Lord. Take, Lord. Take it from me. Take and receive what I have to give you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And now we speak of salvation through Christ. For in goodness you created us. And when we were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed us through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and past tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. 
May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them, as like the dew to fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. By your life, you teach us how to live. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. By your death." You show us how much to love. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection. You, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. For unity, humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, especially our domestic church at home. Bring us to the fullness of love, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy, religious and lay faithful. Let us pray for those who have asked for our prayers, those who celebrate a special day today, for our near and dear ones. For ourselves, for the gift of generosity, giving happy joyfully. For our departed brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, our loved ones gone ahead. Those who don't have anyone to pray for them, welcome them into the light of your face. And last of all, we pray for ourselves. Have mercy. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostle Saint Bede, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Jesus. 
with Jesus, in Jesus, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I've got a secret for you. Our Heavenly Father is very, very fond of you. And so in full confidence we can pray, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name, name thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not, us not into, temptation. into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every form of evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy alone, we may be always free from sin and safe from all useless anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. For peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my kind of peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let us turn to our family members, community members, friends, with a nice smile of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, Lord, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Behold Jesus, the joyful giver. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, not I am not worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter under my roof. Under my roof. But, but only say, say the word, word and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be, healed. be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to the fullness of life. Amen. Amen. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, Give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve. To give and not to count the cost. To fight and not to heed the wounds. To toil and not to seek for rest. To labor and not to ask for reward, save that of knowing that I am doing your holy will. We make this prayer to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord is with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And have a wonderful day with Jesus. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic and be available to all. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Yeah.